Jubilost, not trouble. Jubilost cordially greets you with a document. Baron, you will never guess what your treasurer is holding. He waves a wet... He waves a paper above his head. The ink on it still seems wet. Okay, that's why I thought it was wet. This is a list of things that tumbled out of the wall of your own basement as the workers were undertaking repairs. Jubilost adjusts his glasses and starts reading. A gilded guard. One. Silverware. Three. A set of old coins. The list is long and varied, so I'll get straight to the point. It appears that your workers uncovered the Stag Lord's secret cash, items stolen from his own henchmen. Finding the true owners of these things would be a hard and thankless jobs, job, while taking these trinkets for your own chests is complicitly to exp expropriation. In other words, robbery. As your financial advisor, I, I recommend a compromise. Appraise these riches and send an equal amount on reviving, and spend an equal amount on reviving the villages laid to waste by the bandits. Let these treasures bring some good to those who suffered most under the Stag Lord. Alrighty then, let us. What should we do? I mean, yeah, I guess we. We'll, I guess let's just go to Sorrow Flow. Go find Kalik. And Canera. Yep, there we go. We're stopping right now, Amiri. How are you always the last one to get hungry? God fucking damn it. There we go. And over that, and on to Sorrow Flow we go. What? Soul Eaters become more dangerous if they know their victim's name. I was unaware of that. I hope a Soul Eater never finds out my name then. What, uh... There we go. Tieflings? Kalik smiles faintly as you approach, but you can't help but notice as she's tense as a that she's tense as a bowstring. Three young tieflings wearing bright clothing, the, the sort one might find in a harlequin's wardrobe, are gathered near Kalik, fidgeting foot from foot to foot. Why is reading so difficult in this game? They bow simultaneously. The youngest casts you an inquisitive look. So this is the patron you found, Elder, the Baron of this land. And to think that Canera used to say that you don't know how to make connections. Oh, oh! No, fuck! Kalik stomps her foot, drawing their attention. Sweet teeth! That's enough, you're going right back to the city. The Baron and I need to talk in private. And I- and we're going to the Taldan Tower without you. It might be dangerous. As you say, Elder. The last of the three tieflings, who had kept quiet until now, nods and gestures to the others. We'll go to the city. We'll see if th if three tail swinging goofs like us can find gainful employment around here. If you decided to settle down here, maybe we can find you a place here too. Goodbye, your grace. Please remind me, what is this place and what are we looking for here? What? I see. It's an ancient Taldan settlement, long ago ravaged by the elements. The mighty empire of Taldor, blah blah blah. Okay. They used to mine ore in these rocks. Little is known about what happened here, but according to rumors, a terrible flood devastated the town. Many citizens perished, the others fled. Only the tower remains, standing on the cliff. The flood wasn't able to reach it. The tower may still hold substantial riches, and among them, the Disk of the Eclipse, a relic from a Kadiran temple in Nethys. That's what I'm looking for. We will go on alone from here. Alright then, who are those three tieflings? My friends from Kadira. Their names are Naiho, Tevi, and Elki, but I usually just call them Sweet Teeth. They're always together and always act and speak in chorus. It was they who dug up the history of this place and told me of the treasury, but they never got inside. 
They say there's a lot of dangerous beasts ahead. So wait. Oh, whatever. I, that was odd. Kalik sighs. I'm happy that at least someone from my past life hasn't abandoned me. But they make me anxious as well. The Sweet Teeth know nothing about what happened after our escape. They think Kanera died and I adopted a strange new name to hide from my past. But they know me and my sister well and could easily uncover the truth. That would breach Nethus' first condition. That's why it would be better for all of us if we could meet as rarely as if... If... Ah, uh, uh, possible. Besides, Kanera nearly fed the poor sweet teeth to, to wild animals, though it seems like ages ago. W what? Why would you... Okay then, well, I'm not even gonna ask. What's our plan? There must be a cliff somewhere ahead, where, where we'll need to find the remains of the tower. We'll need to climb it and search the ruins, and be ready for trouble. One can never be too careful. Well, are we ready? Let's fucking go. Wait. Shit. One more question. Yeah, let's fucking go. Kalik nods gratefully. Thank you, I'm glad I don't have to walk this road alone. Okay, well... I don't seem to... Permanent? I mean, I don't seem to have any issues with hitting him, so he must not have very high AC, but... Okay, so you literally have no weapons. Is there actually nothing... Fuck it! Here we go, Jathal's old dagger, let's... Start stabbing. Well, there we go. Can you stay up here? Oh shit. Oh no! Um... You know, I may have made a mistake. Oh shit. Come on! Fuck! For fuck's sake! Well, on the bright side, Thorkin's apparently immortal when it comes to these fuckers. So I guess I just have to sit here and wait for Thorkin to kill them. All right, then. Thorkin has succeeded. It is done. And there appears to be some kind of ritual here with a bunch of water elementals. How about I speak to them? The water elementals whirl anxiously but make no move to attack. Kalik is obviously commanding their attention. The creature's bodies ripple. And they freeze and face the girl. This is what I felt! These creatures... I'm really fucking up the, this table right now. We belong to the same elemental force. The girl leans forward. I could be wrong, but I feel they are seething as if... As if yearning for freedom! They cannot leave! And they've been trapped in this place for a long time. An incredibly long time. Water elementals at a settlement that perished from a sudden flood. Kalik's eyes are full of sorrow. Yes, it seems that someone used them to kill the Taldans. And then just abandoned them here. But who? Who would use such powerful magic? Only to kill some simple miners? The past hides so many secrets. What will happen if we set the elementals free? Could we? I doubt they would attack. They suffer here under the ruthless sun, far from their elemental forces. They seem happy to see me, and they are pleading for help. I understand. Let's see what we can do. Uh... Um... 
Okay, then, well... Fuck me, I guess. Let's go. Kalik throws back her head and looks upward. Up there! There's a tower there, on the cliff. But it will be difficult to climb such a steep slope. Steep slope. Kalik gives you a pensive and sad smile. My sister and I used to climb cliffs together. She was so angry when I was faster. But she always helped me when she got ahead. Start climbing! Let's get to a goal! Oh shit, I failed. Luckily, Kalik, who is climbing with the dexterity of a lizard, catches her hand. Okay, well, I'm surprised my athletics check failed, considering- Oh yeah, I'm wearing heavy armor, that's why it failed. Look, we're so close to the top, almost there. What a beautiful place. And cozy. This cliff seems- or the cliff seems to embrace this place. There's a rainbow. And a waterfall! Now I see why the Taldans wanted to settle here. I'd live here too! Holy shit, you're floating! You are floating. That was interesting. Um, a gurgle. All right, how about we give this a shot? Oh, there's two of them. This is unfortunate. Stay cool, asshole. What? No! Stop! Um... Shit. What? Four minus six? I know, understand. 